Okay, hey everyone. Um, suppose you are trying, you get the same error as me, right? Term node is not recognized in a command prompt when you're trying to install something on npm. I got Visual Studio 2022 open here, and I just need to install something off uh, using an npm command. Specifically, I need this thing called install uh, fuse.js, and all I want to run is that. But first of all, I need to have Node.js installed, which is something I always forget because it just doesn't seem, you know, it's not something that sticks to mind. So to get Node.js, let's go, just put it in your favorite search engine and then let's download it, right? So I'm getting it for Windows, that's fine. I'll just get the first one that looks right, okay? Don't fret too much about it. You know how to install stuff on your own machine. Okay, so let's get that running. And let's go through the setup wizard. Okay, you've got to do all this, all the basic stuff. Program files looks like a fine place for it. Okay, uh, yeah, I actually do want chocolatey. That's quite good. That's like homebrew equivalent for Windows. So it's quite nice. And let's make these changes. So it's validating. Okay, so maybe we can just pause as this goes through. Okay, and we've got the success message. That's fine. Press any key to continue. Okay, this has popped up. Okay, fine. Yep, open in PowerShell. Maybe this is because I clicked the additional tools uh, for chocolatey and stuff. So don't worry if you're not seeing this exact same thing. Okay, need to close and reopen. That's pretty standard. Okay, and I gotta get Python. All right, great. Anyway, maybe don't take chocolatey if you're concerned about space. Okay, so just for a bit of additional context, while it's installing, I've had a look on online and Stack Overflow post. Someone said that it can take a long time because you're adding about three gigs of extra space. So as I said, if you're worried about the extra space, don't tick that box. Or the extra tools, just don't tick that box. As I said, if you're concerned about adding the additional tools, don't do it. Don't tick that box like I did, and it'll be much faster. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, still got installation, and this is like four or five minutes in. I've got a fairly slow internet connection at the moment, so maybe yours will be faster, but as you can see, it goes on a long time. This seems to have kind of stalled. I don't know why. It's just been sitting here for about five or six minutes. Okay, and out of nowhere, the PowerShell window just closed. So what you need to do then is I'd recommend opening just a fresh PowerShell window and try node-v. And if you see the numbers, you've got node. If you do npm-v, you've got npm package manager. And you get package manager installed as well. Okay, now I may need to close down my instance of Visual Studio, in which case and reopen a new instance. Now, hopefully this is gonna work. I'm in PowerShell, just remember in Visual Studio you can get various ones. Let's just see. Okay, great. Closing it and reopening the instance, a new instance has done the trick. And I wanted npm install. Let's just see if that's actually running through. Yep, okay, it doesn't know what to install, that's fine. And then I wanted fuse.js. And there, it has run through and added the package. So there you go. That is how you install Node Package Manager or NPM, get that working. And also you need to get the Node version to get that working as well. Now I've got another video on updating your node version if you've already got one here and that's not a very clear process i've got another video here that i think you'll like so check out those and thank you for watching i'll see you in another video soon cheers bye